I'm here at CGI, and I'm joined with Danny Shriskanjaraja. Uh, he is CEO and Secretary General of Civicus. Um, thank you for being with us. Well, thank you for having me. Um, so you've been very vocal and um, critical of the large business-like structure of many NGOs and their tendency to sort of stray from their grassroots origins. Um, and you've been here in New York for Global Dev Week. Um, you've been speaking with development professionals, uh, leaders from civil society. Um, and I wonder what the most productive conversation you've had has been this week um, in New York. Well, I think here we are in New York in this little bubble where all sorts of development professionals from all around the world come to try to lobby for this agenda or that agenda. And to me, this epitomizes both what we've been able to achieve as civil society, but also some of the dangers. So we've created these spaces where we can have this dialogue, like the CGI, for example. But on the other hand, this is such a little microcosm, so removed from the day-to-day -day experiences and lives of, of activists and, and professionals all around the world. This week here in New York, we've seen you know, one of the largest public mobilizations on the streets of New York and many other cities around climate change. So we had this climate march, and here we were, the sort of development professionals, if you will, inside the high-rise buildings in New York, trying to push for this or that agenda, having very nice breakfast meetings yeah. and, and such. And so I think you know what we have to remember to do is to connect the street with the boardroom. So where, then where do you see civil society 10 years from now, forward-looking, forward are you very optimistic about where it's going, or are you a little concerned? I'm cautiously optimistic about where civil society is heading. Yeah. You know, compared to just 20, 30 years ago, we have managed to get more space within the intergovernmental processes, the policy-making discussions. There are more multi-stakeholder initiatives that involve civil society. So in many ways, we've made a lot of progress. But my, the, my big worry is that we are stuck at the moment with intergovernmental institutions that are far from fit for purpose. Mm. They were designed in the 1940s and 50s, structured around geopolitics of that time, and are almost entirely state-led, yeah. as if member states have a monopoly on global policy making mm. or the setting of the Sustainable Development Goals. Mm. So for me, the key test over the next 10 years is we want to be in these rooms, not just there to contribute our token two-minute uh, statements, but actually as equal and meaningful partners to the development process, for example. Right, right. Um, and coming up in November uh, is the International Civil Society Week um, in Johannesburg, South Africa, where, where your organization is based. Um, what can we be expecting to see of that meeting? What's going to be the buzz? So our, I'm really excited about our World Assembly. It's probably the biggest gathering of civil society leaders on our own terms. This is not in an invited space where we're going to contribute views, but it's our space. And one of the things that we want to do in, in Johannesburg in November is bring together the leaders of the biggest nonprofits in the world together with leaders of social movements and grassroots activists yeah. and youth activists yeah. and to you know put people together and, and forge that solidarity in that conversation. Yeah. But we also want to ask some really challenging questions. So our opening panel discussion in the main event of the World Assembly yeah. is going to be themed, do NGOs build people's power? Because those are the sorts of questions we need to start thinking about. Yeah. We know NGOs are very good at delivering fantastic services. They're well managed. They deliver value for money. But we also have a responsibility when we're doing all of that to build people's power, to empower people people, the people we claim to serve, uh, and so that's the sort of conversation we want to have in, in Johannesburg.